Hello my beautiful friends. So today's video is going to be all of my favorite nude lipsticks. We're talking regular lipsticks, glosses, and liquid lipsticks. All of my favorites that are in the nude department for the light to light medium skin tone range. If you have that skin tone and or even if you don't and you just want to find out about nude lipsticks that I love, then keep watching this video because girl, this video is for you or boy or anybody, this video is for you. Okay, I'm gonna get started because I'm rambling and I'm awkward and I, yeah, let's just get started. So, to start it off, I'm gonna talk about lipsticks and then we'll move on to liquid lipsticks and then we'll go to glosses. The first lipstick, I know I have like a little teeny tiny mini version, but this is the Bite Beauty Honeycomb Lipstick, Amuse Bouche Lipstick. Amuse, 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 I can't say it. Let's just go with that. Amuse Bouge. <laughs> Bouge. I can't say it. Whatever. Honeycomb lipstick. Mine is like torn to pieces because it's so tiny and broke off and it just falls apart. But this is the lipstick right there. So this lipstick is honestly so, so comfortable on the lips. I am so in love with that. I'm definitely going to purchase a full lipstick from this line. I got this in a influencer box actually that's why I got the mini one I seriously love the formula it lasts a long time and it's just really pretty I think it complements your my skin tone very very well so this is the lipstick right there it's more on the cooler tone when it comes to nude lipsticks and you'll see that when I kind of try everything on so the next lipstick we have is a Maybelline lipstick and I love, love, love their formula for sure. They're so comfortable on the lips. This is in the shade 920 Nude Lust. I believe this is their like color sensational line. Yeah. And so this one again is more on the cool side, I would say. And it's honestly more like of a glossy finish. The Bite one is a little bit more glossy too, but this one is definitely a lot lighter then the bite lipstick if you can see there it's almost more of like a lavendery undertone is what i would kind of describe it as uh just be careful because sometimes like if you don't have anything underneath it it can be like i don't know your lip color can show through so i would definitely wear a lip liner i get away with it sometimes without but if you have very pigmented lips i would definitely wear a lip liner and kind of line all your lips the next lipstick i have is another one of my favorite formulas this is the Milani line of lipsticks. This is their matte formula, and I have this one in the shade Matte Innocence. So this one is really, really light. Some people won't be able to wear this if you have a deeper skin skin tone or super pigmented lips, like I said again, because it does kind of like show through, and it's definitely a very pale shade, but I think it is so, so flattering, especially with the tan. It just looks so nice. The top one here is the um, Matte Innocence. This one is definitely a lot more pink undertone. Doesn't have the cool undertone like the other one below it, if you can tell the difference. It's definitely a lot more like peachy pink. So that is it for the lipsticks that I wanna talk about. Next one is a soft matte lip cream. This is kinda of in between a lipstick and a liquid lipstick. This does dry down on me, uh, but it's not super uncomfortable or anything, but throughout the day it kind of dries down on me, maybe in the first like half hour or so. So this one is in the shade London, I believe. This one is more of like a peach beigey undertone, not a lot of pink in it. It's more just kind of neutral, like I said, kind of that beigey brown undertone. Um, so you can definitely see the difference when I put it up here. It's so much more brown undertoned and like a peach than any of these ones right here. This is definitely gonna be flattering on you if you have a little bit deeper of a skin tone. I know Desi Perkins like loves this shade and I have a lot lighter skin than hers and I think it looks amazing as well. It's that very, very great balance between that brown undertone and the peachy undertone. It's, it's amazing. These are ones that I don't absolutely love the formula for, but I love, love, love the colors of them and I also get away with wearing them because I either put a gloss on top or I make sure to put these liquid lipsticks on and then I pat it off so that it for one isn't patchy and two it has the least amount of product on my lips as possible so that it doesn't get cracky or anything like that but I wouldn't wear these for a super super long time I just really like the color I have this one on my lips right now it's lace detail and then I also have a gloss that I'll talk about in a minute 
on top of it and I love the combination so so much it just lasts so long on your lips so these are the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks and I have one in lace detail and then I have the other in push-ups so I'll show you lace detail I'm kind of running out of room right now this one right here is lace detail it looks very similar to the Maybelline one right here but it's definitely a different formula it's a liquid lipstick and not a um regular lipsticks okay this one again looks very similar to the first lipstick the bite beauty lipstick that i talked about but it might have a little bit more like neutral undertones and not as much like uh cool undertones so this one is in push-up and that one is right there and it's seriously right next to the bite one it's very very similar again if you want a regular lipstick go for the bite one right here and then this one is a lipstick a liquid lipstick formula. Can you guys tell all the tones that I like? <laughs> Obviously, it's a nude lipstick video, but still. Okay, we're getting close to done. Okay, the next one is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. I love, love, love these lipsticks. They are so great. They are a little drying. As Again, I would pat off your lips and everything like that, but they seriously look like velvet on your skin. Not your skin, your lips, on your lip skin. I guess it's skin. On your lips, they look like velvet velvet because of the way they dry. I just think they look stunning and I get so many compliments when I wear them. So I have this one in Adorable. So this one is definitely one of the darkest of the bunch and it is right here on here. Yeah, right there. It definitely is darker than any of the other ones but it is very similar to these ones down here. It uh, definitely has that same undertone, but it's just a little darker. The next liquid lipstick I'm going to talk about is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. I have three different NYX products in this. Wow. And uh, as you will see, three different Milani. Can you tell whose lip products I like? But <laughs> Okay, that was creepy. But anyway, this is the last liquid lipstick formula. This one, again, is similar to the cool tone ones um it definitely is different on the lips especially i hope you guys will see that when i do this video i know they look super similar on my hand but i swear they look different on the lips or am i crazy i don't know i might just be crazy this one is the nyx liquid suede one in sandstorm it is so 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 pretty i love this shade so much this one doesn't have as much purple undertone as you can see in the milani one right here it definitely has more purple undertones, and this one has more like gray neutral undertones. Look at all these nudes. <laughs> all right, now we're going to talk about glosses. So the gloss I was talking about before that I have on top of this is the Ulta Shiny Sheer Lip Gloss in Bear. Oh my gosh, I love the Shiny Sheer Lip Glosses so freaking much. They are so comfortable on the lips. They almost feel like a gel formula, and although they do have like little tiny shimmer glitters in them, they're so, so fine that you can't even feel them on the lips. They feel so, so comfortable and they go great on top on top of liquid lipsticks, which is always a plus. And they go great on top of regular lipsticks as well. They seriously make my lips feel so plump and make them look plump as well because they do have the little light reflex. So it makes them look nice and juicy. So I have this one on top of lace detail. You can't even see it on a planes watch because it's basically very, very sheer, like shiny sheer, obviously. You can see it on my skin right there. You can barely even tell. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The last gloss I'm going to talk about is... I just grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> That's the problem with Milani packaging. These, these look the same. Don't they? I thought they were the same lipstick for a while in my collection, and then I realized one's a gloss and one isn't. So, yeah. <laughs> Get on that, Milani. I do love the packaging, though. It's very, very pretty. So then the next uh, lip gloss that I love is the Milani lip glosses. They are so, so nice. And I have this one in Bare Secret. Again, a perfect, perfect nude. And this one has a lot more pigment. And it's a little bit more, like, sticky, I guess. And this one goes great on top of anything as well. Or you can wear it alone. This is the gloss right here. See how it has a lot more pigment? Okay, that was a bad swatch. Ew, it's getting in my arm hair. <laughs> great choice of placement, Emily. Great choice. You see? Can you see? There it is. So pretty, you guys. So pretty. So yeah, guys, that is all of my favorite nude lipsticks. My lipsticks, lip liquid lipsticks, the glosses, everything like that. That is all of them. I love them 
so much and you can tell now basically this is all I wear my lips is nude a lot of the time and these are the ones that I wear so if you've ever wondered what is she wearing on her lips it's probably one of these because I stick to these a lot just because they look very flattering and they go with a lot of different looks so if you guys love nude lipsticks give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below and comment what your favorite nude lipstick is it can be a lipstick it can be a liquid lipstick it can be a gloss anything that you love that is nude leave it down below in the comments and i will see you guys in a video very very soon bye <coughs> i should probably roll on my sleeve huh because we got a swatch today yes that's good that's good gotta stay hydrated people hello my beautiful friends should that be my new intro or hello, beautiful people. I was gonna say lip swatch video. It is not a lip swatch video, although I am swatching lipstick. Yeah, okay. Hello, my beautiful friends. So today I'm going to be gosh, I lost it. talking about all of my favorite. Gosh dang it! This is the Bite Amuse Boot. Oh my god, I can never say that. The Bite Beauty Amuse Bouge Amuse Bouge comment what your favorite liquid lip no hello to the beautiful people <laughs> guys i'm so crazy today why do 